Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there. Today, we've got to change it up. So yet last week, I talked a lot about upcoming releases. And unfortunately, because of just the amount of stuff that was releasing like end of January, early February, I mean, I know it's like still early February, but literally on the first day of February, because of all the stuff that released, it kind of pushed back all the videos where I wanted to talk about upcoming, you know, like, stuff that's like months away or you know like teasers like leaks it's prevented that f well, those videos from being made so today i'm going to dedicate a video to it so it doesn't get further lost in time today we're going to be talking about the photo of a shoe being teased on der schutz's instagram story okay 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 so just some housekeeping things it's finally actually cold enough for me to layer it up so i've gone full colorful for a couple videos that I'm doing today. So if you know what all these pieces are and why I'm wearing them, you'll understand what my next couple videos are gonna be about. And if you don't, I'll explain it in the next couple videos. Secondly, as another bit of like housekeeping and a little bit of stuff that's like not relevant to the video. Well, sorta of isn't, sorta of isn't. Der Schutzer sent me an email saying that my UV hoodie has been shipped. So I doubt it's gonna come this week. It's probably gonna be next week that we're gonna get it, that it's probably gonna, you know, rock up. Uh, I'll definitely unbox it on the channel, as I always do with all my Del Schutzer pieces, um, but it'll just be a little while, but I thought I'd update all you guys on the channel about, like, what's the, you know, status of that, because I did buy it a while ago, and it does take almost a month from buying a Del Schutzer piece to actually receiving it, especially in Australia. Obviously, it's it changes, it differs from person to person around the world, but I thought I'd just update you guys, give you a time frame, and if you didn't cop it, I will obviously make the video so you guys can see what it looks like when we actually get it. So, what's today's video going to be about? I sort of just sort of covered it in the first little part, but what I've been doing recently is whenever Der Schutzer uploads like sample stuff or like teasers stuff on their Instagram story, because they don't do posts about it on their... Um, on their actual uh, profile, they just post it on their story. Uh, what I've been doing recently is making videos about the like the leaks, the like the you know snapshots of the samples and stuff, and then covering them in like actual videos because I think they deserve you know a little bit of a talking point. I think we should go over them. So I didn't cover the first sample slash leak that they posted on their Instagram story, which was a I'll explain it. So it was a photo of like a bottom of a, I think it was either a Jordan one or a dunk because the outsoles are, I think identical or very similar. I think the dunk and the Jordan one have the exact same outsole or it's like very close. Like they're very similar. There might be like small minor details that make it slightly different, but they basically look the same. Anyway, so their shots are posted on their Instagram story like months ago, a photo of an outsole, but instead of it saying Nike here, it said Der Schutzer in a little like box. I was going to make a video about it, but unfortunately I didn't. But we need to talk about that because it'll be brought up in today's video. So that was the first leak that I didn't talk about. The second leak was the light up LED hoodie. That'll be linked in the description section below if you guys want to have a look at the sample LED hoodie that they also teased. It's down there, made a whole video about it. And this is the third leak that we've now seen. So what I've got for us today is actually an image. It is a image of a side of a shoe that Der Schutzer posted on their Instagram story. Now, I thought I'd just mention that first leak, the outsole of the shoe, just so we can connect it all together and kind of piece together what they're sampling and what they're trying to make. Because they have said in a comment section before that they are gonna make sneakers. So that's really interesting. I'd love to see where that goes. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. We're gonna be talking about the leak of the side panel of a sneaker that they've designed and speculate and think about what what will you know become of it if it's going to actually get released what they'll actually you know us interpret what like what's going on that kind of thing so we'll dive over to the image have a look at it and then i'll talk about my speculations on what i think their schutzer may actually release by the end of this year if they keep releasing all these teaser images and if i can gather it together so let's go have a look at that image and here it is. So here is the image. I thought the best way to do it would to be literally just screen capture the uh, me opening the image up in like 
Microsoft's window, uh, Microsoft's image opening program, whatever the heck it's called these days, photos or whatever it is. Anyway, so this is what they posted on their Instagram story. Now, sorry for the bad quality image. I literally screenshotted it on my phone. I should have downloaded it through uh, Instagram on, on a browser. That would have been the smarter decision, but I screenshotted it just in case I forgot to download it and I forgot to download it, so I had the screenshot. So this is it. So. Der Schutzer posted on their Instagram story uh, this photo. It's a photo of obviously a side of a shoe, a side panel of the shoe. But instantly, once I saw this, I instantly recognized what shoe it was. Because if I bring back over the Air Jordan 1 bread here, that is this panel here. This panel here is literally this side panel here with obviously the swoosh removed. Obviously, the swoosh would come down and take over this. So it looks like Der Schutzer, what they're posting on their Instagram story is the side of a Jordan 1 with the swoosh has been removed and where the swoosh has been removed, they've put their own bit of artwork here. Now, the reason that I think it's a Jordan 1 is because you can see these stitches here and the, you know, I, I don't know how to describe it, the bubbles on the side of the midsole there. That is exactly the same as what's on an Air Jordan 1. You've got the stitching just here where the midsole meets the upper, and then you've also got the little dimply bits along the side there. And instantly from this little part here, I knew that that was the front of a Jordan 1 here where the laces are where the eyelets are. So from my speculations, this has to be a Jordan 1. There might be a couple other Nike shoes that it could be very similar of. I mean, I doubt that it's going to be a dunk high. It looks very much like a Jordan 1 or maybe even... Uh, it, it wouldn't be a pair of Air Forces. It couldn't be a pair of Air Forces. I would be shocked if it was a pair of Air Forces. But it looks like Der Schutzer, as they said in the comment section below, is trying out and sampling and seeing what they can do with sneakers, which would be a very interesting release. I, th I mean, obviously, their printed... Uh, sorry, not their printed. Their embroidered hoodies are putting them on the map. They're getting bigger and bigger every week on Instagram because of those embroidered hoodies. And probably because people in the YouTube community and various other communities like Instagram and stuff are talking about them. Because as we've talked about on the channel before, their hoodies are very high quality, very good for the price point, And they have amazing pieces of art on them that just make them, you know, really unique. It's really cool. So I think releasing a sneaker would really put them on the map this year. Doing something crazy like this, like releasing a limited amount of, you know, either Jordan 1s or whatever sneaker they decide to end up going with and having like crazy designs like this on them, I think that would really put them in, on the map in 2020. And it seems like they constantly want to keep pushing boundaries with what they want to release. As proven by like that sample uh, LED hoodie that we covered in the previous, um, you know, Der Schutze leaks video, you know? like. They're really trying to push some boundaries in 2020 because, I mean, I don't think they'll stop releasing the embroidered artwork hoodies, but it looks like they don't want that to be like the des like defining factor of their brand. They don't look like they want to get trapped into making a bunch of embroidered hoodies forever. It looks like they want to expand and do bigger things. I mean, there's proof of that in their previous releases with like the backpacks that they've done. I know once whenever I look at their archive page, whenever they do a drop, there's like heaps of, um, you know, like crew neck sweaters. I, the first ever Der Schürze piece I unboxed was the, you know, the final heist shirt. It doesn't look like they want to be stuck in just doing embroidered hoodies forever. You know, it looks like they want to expand, which is a good thing. I think brands definitely should evolve like artists. I mean, yeah, I, I'm definitely for them doing things outside of embroidered hoodies. But yeah, I really wanted to make a video today discussing that. The idea that it looks like they want to evolve. It looks like these samples are a good testament to them showing that they're trying to evolve their craft, create new things. It's very cool and it looks very promising for 2020, which may be the reason why Der Schutzer is also slowing down on releases in 2020. Because at the end of 2019, there was a Der Schutzer hoodie like almost every single week or every two weeks, right? Now it looks like it's slowed down a bit because they've only released one hoodie in 2020 so far, which is the UV Astro V2, which, as I said before, is on its way. Um, it looks like they are slowing down on the hoodie releases. I don't know if that's to focus more time on big releases like this, but maybe all the hoodies they released in 2019, they're using all that funding to 
fund new projects like this, you know, like the shoes and stuff like that. I'm really shocked to, well, whenever I see these like samples and stuff, because I'm like, what are you planning for 2020? Like, what is this brand doing? What do they want to do in 2020? Like, as I said, it obviously looks like they don't want to stick with just doing embroidered hoodies. They want to like push the boundaries of streetwear and do crazy stuff like the LED hoodie, like sneakers and stuff. I mean, obviously they're not the first streetwear brand either to do like sneaker releases. Like, you know, Fugazi does their like one in the chamber Jordan ones. Uh, Warren Lotus, uh, I think, I think that's his name. He does, he's, he's done those like um, Jason Dunks recently, or he's still doing them. I think they're still in production, but it's not uncommon for streetwear brands to do this kind of stuff, unofficial collabs in a way. Um, but I really think it will put them on the map of the streetwear, on, on the streetwear map, because they still are going pretty under the radar. In all honesty, like, it's, like if you're scrolling through your newsfeed of like streetwear releases and stuff, you don't see a lot of posts being made about Del Schutze, or at least I don't. So I think doing something, you know, crazy and adventurous, like sneakers, like light up hoodies, I think that's really going to put them on the map as a brand. But not that like them being put on the map or anything is a testament to their, you know, quality or anything like that. They're still an amazing brand, even though they are low key, but I think they do deserve a little bit more recognition for what they do because they do crazy hoodies with crazy samples that have like amazing quality for a really reasonable price and have amazing artwork on them. I feel, I feel kind of bad talking about them and not wearing one of their pieces right now, but that's the case, that's the case. But I, I, I do want to make a video and that's why I'm making it today on stuff like this, because this deserves recognition. The fact that they're like sampling and trying out new things like this, it deserves a little bit of love on YouTube as a platform and on the internet as a platform, because as I said, it'll be posted on their story. It's now gone from their story. This was days ago. And it won't get that recognition, but I think it deserves that recognition in this video, that they're willing to try this crazy stuff. Um, I, I honestly reckon by the end of 2020, I reckon they'll release a sneaker. What it'll be, well from all the sample images that we've seen so far, it looks like it's going to be a Jordan 1. It looks like it, but I don't want to say it is because I could be proven wrong. You know, they could decide to scrap this whole project and release a different sneaker. Um, it, it could be a dunk that would play really well into 2020 because 2019 and 2020 seem to be the years of the dunks, but yeah, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, it could be, yeah. And my, my major speculations are it's going to be a Jordan one that they're going to do, or it's going to be a dunk high. It's got to be one of the two, maybe an air force, but the air force outsole and the air force, um, midsole does not look like that and it didn't look like the first leaked image like this like it didn't look like the first leaked image which was their schutzer in the middle of a midsole like oh sorry an outsole like this it doesn't look like that so i'm gonna speculate it's gonna be yeah pair of it a pair of air jordan ones or a pair of dunk highs i'm fine with either i would just love to see them do this sneaker release and eventually release it in 2020 but who knows if we're even going to get it in 2020 man it could be delayed till 2021 it's in such early stages by the looks of it it looks like they're still sampling everything so it could be forever away it could be forever away but i'd love seeing these like little updates on their instagram story and i love talking about them in videos <laughs> But yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy as a brand that they're even attempting that. Because a lot of brands would get really comfortable with just doing like the embroidered hoodie releases, them selling out. They would just do them over and over and over and over again. But it looks like Del Schutzer wants to push boundaries, wants to, you know, do other things as a brand, which I'm, again, I'm applauding, but that's crazy. I just wanted to make a video today covering this um, post on their story and going over what I think is going to release with it. Um, I would love to know what you guys think though. Let me know in that comment section below. Come shout at me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. What do you think this is all leading to? Do you think they're going to release a sneaker by the end of 2020? You know, like an unofficial collab. Do you think it's going to be an Air Jordan 1? Do you think it's going to be a dunk with all the images that we've seen? Or do you think it's going to be something totally different? What do you think it's going to incorporate? Do you reckon it's just going to be the side panels with heaps of art on them? Or do you think it's going to be more than that? Do you think they're going to do like glow in the dark outsoles with artwork all over the top? Like what, what are your ideas? What are your ideas? What do you think they'll do? You know, do you reckon they'll go do something that crazy or do you reckon they'll keep it nice and simple? Either way, let me know all your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And that's 
all I've really got to kind of say about it. Really, I mean, again, it's it's an image. There's only so much that can be said about it. I know it was kind of well, this video was kind of unfocused and everything like that, but I, I kind of wanted it to be. I kind of just wanted to be interpreting what I see in the image. Um, it was it, it's a very cool image. Obviously, it's as I speculated, it looks like a Jordan one. It looks like one of the uh, outside panels done in embroidered artwork. It's got a little dude just chilling up against the bookcase. That's what it kind of looked like. Now, does this mean anything? Does this confirm anything? Not at all, not at all. This image, as I said, is a sample. So it could be released. It could not be released. It could, it, it more looks like it's just them trying out things in different fields of streetwear and seeing what they can create as a brand. That's what it looks like. It doesn't promise us anything. It doesn't mean that we're gonna get a sneaker Del Schutze release in 2020. It doesn't mean that we're ever gonna get one. But what it, you know, it, what it does do is it shows that the brand is willing to try out new things and see where it can go. And I don't know, I'd be keen to see them release something a little bit different. I'm not getting bored of the embroidered hoodies, no way. Not. <laughs> I could cop them all day. <laughs> I love them. I love them. They're amazing. Can't wait for the next one. Um, but this is good to see the brand evolve a little bit more. I mean, yeah, we've seen some evidence of that. We've seen them do t-shirts. We've seen them do backpacks. We've seen them do lots of other things. But it's just nice to see them go into other directions as well. Um, I, I hope that they eventually are happy with a, a, a final sample or a final product because obviously when I talked about the first leak, the leak of the outsole, that happened months ago. That was like, I want to say three months ago. I honestly don't, I can't remember a timestamp because I didn't make a video about it. I'm an idiot. But they've been doing this for a while. They've been attempting to try and come up with a final design for a sneaker for a while. So I hope for them that they get it done in 2020. I obviously am not pressuring them in any way. I'm just saying that I hope that Schutzer is able to be happy enough with the final design and that we get a release of a sneaker because that would be crazy. I would, when I first started copying Del Schutzer, I never imagined that I would be potentially talking about a sneaker that they're releasing. Now, obviously that this sneaker would not be in collaboration with like Nike or anything. Oh, if it, if it was, I'd be very shocked. But really what it'll be is it'll be a bunch of, um, a bunch of Jordan ones they buy up and then they would just customize it in their own way which makes me believe that there wouldn't be too many of them if they finally did release it because that means they'd have to go through the process of buying a Jordan 1 then putting the hours to customizing it and then resell it on their store which you know that means that they've got to incorporate the retail price of a Jordan 1 the hours and effort they put in and then you get a final retail price so as you can see there That'd be already a little bit expensive there, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Anyway, we're talking about like a final product here when all we're seeing is an image of a side panel. <laughs> but this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to make a video that was quite unstructured today. That was just me speculating and talking about what I see and what could become of it. And I think we did that. I think we did that. I think we definitely nailed what, it, what, it, what, what we, th what I think it is. Um, and this, and I also wanted to make this video for you guys to talk about it in that comment section below as well on your speculations. Do you think Del Schutze will release a sneaker by the end of 2020? Um, what do you think it will be? All that kind of stuff. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I'd also just like to say, I'm sorry I didn't make this video when it was still on the story, when their photo of a side of the shoe was on their story. There was just so much releasing that I thought I'd better prioritize what's releasing on what may or may not be releasing but uh, that's why i'm making the video today because i don't want to get you know lost in all the upcoming releases i want to talk about some teasers and stuff like that so yeah round it all up let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below do you think they're going to release anything do you think this is just samples of them trying out stuff and it'll never come into like a full final release either way let me know everything you got to say in that comment section below i'm hopeful i think it will get a release one day I just don't think it's going to be anytime soon. I think it's going to be a while away. Probably the earliest, I would say the earliest, I reckon like end of 2020 because they, it looks pretty uh, work in progress at the moment. It looks pretty work in progress. It doesn't look like it's a final product. It would be a final product if we saw like a full image, you know, like a full photo of the shoot. But anyway, that's my thoughts on it. I think we'll get a Jordan one or a dunk high, maybe by the end of the year. Um, 
it'll probably just yeah it, it doesn't look very solid at the moment but i'm speculating that let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below if you want me to cover more del schutzer leaks like this i mean obviously this is our second video doing it let me know in that comment section below like the video just let me know just let me know because i love talking about it but maybe you guys are sick of me talking about the brand <laughs> either way either way let me know in that comment section below this has been the i guess the the sneaker leak that they posted on their instagram story let me know how you feel in that comment section below and until the next del schutzer video until the next sneaker video until the next streetwear video guys i'll catch you later